So we're going to install the Clickbank WordPress membership plugin. And uh, this is just an empty blog that I've got on a currently spare domain. The first thing we're going to do is take a look at uh, plugins. And we need to add a new plugin. And before we install the Clickbank WordPress membership plugin, uh, there's a free plugin we need to grab, and this will let us create a role for a paid member. If you go to Add New in Plugins, and then search for Capabilities, the first one it finds should be the Capability Manager. And we're going to install that plugin. and activate it. Okay, if we now go down to users, we will see that there's a new section appeared, capabilities. Now, we don't need to worry too much about setting up anything here. All we're using this plugin for is to create a capability for a paid member, or create a role. So if you've got the subscriber role selected, which you should by default, we can just copy that to paid member all one word all lowercase and click copy and there we go we're finished now with the um, roles and capabilities manager uh, that's done the job that we needed it to do so we can now go back to plugins now before we install the plugin itself there's a couple of things that it's going to need to know um, it's going to need a sales pitch page every clickbank product has to have a pitch page and this is no exception um, the difference being that normally you just create a, an html page and upload it here you're going to have to create your pitch page within your wordpress blog so if we go to pages and we add a new page and we will call it upgrade your membership now, the reason we create this at this stage is that we need to know what this link is. You see that it says permalink, and that there is the link to this page. I'm going to copy that to the clipboard, because that will come in handy in just a moment. Um, this will all be your sales copy in here about your page. Um, and then there'll be a link to actually purchase, which we'll come back and put in in a moment. For now, we'll just publish that get that out of the way now we can go back to plugins and we're going to add a new plugin and we're going to use the upload feature and if we browse in your folder that you've unpacked your plugin into you will find you have two things you have a thank you folder which we will deal with separately that's for the clickbank end of things and this zip file here is the actual plugin that we want to upload to WordPress. Click install now and activate the plugin. And there it is in the list. And if we go down to the bottom here, we'll see under settings, we now have a new section called CBWP members. And this needs four parameters. Uh, one of them is the link to the pitch page, which you know, I've still got saved on my clipboard from just a moment ago. It's the page we've just created. The other pieces of information come from Clickbank. So if I pull up a my Clickbank account or a Clickbank account, and this one's already got a couple of products set up in it, so I'm going to add a new product, and this now tells me what I really need to know. I know what my Clickbank account name is. Uh, and that's going to be the item number for this product. Since we're in here, we can fill this out. Uh, this will be your domain name, forward slash thank you, forward slash click tx.php. Now that's assuming that you follow the second part of the installation exactly as I show you and you don't change folder names or file names. And there's really no need to because there's built-in security. So even if somebody guessed this web page, it's no use to them because unless 
uh, the clickbank seed is passed through it won't work and we'll say we're going to charge $47 for our membership and it's called and we'll call it upgrade to gold membership and we'll save that and for now I'm just going to minimize the Clickbank window keep it handy because we'll need to use it for the second stage Clickbank account name it's whatever your Clickbank nickname is we know the item number was three and then in this field here we have to put a description of the paid of what a paid member is and this is actually the words that that get slotted into a sentence and the sentence says uh, you need to be and then it puts in whatever's in this box followed by to view this content so if we want to say you need to be a paid member you would type there a paid member uh, I'm going to call my premium membership gold membership so I'm going to make my read you must be a gold member and we save those changes now that is the um, plugin side of things done what we'll do now is just go back and I will show you a demonstration of it actually working and give you a couple of pointers on this as well I have a post here which I started to write already now all of the membership side of this is controlled by short codes and don't let that put you off they're not complicated basically a short code is a word in square brackets so here I've got the word visitor in square brackets this is one of the short codes that uh, the plugin provides anything placed between that and a closing short code which is the same word with a forward slash in front of it in square brackets anything placed in the visitor between those two visitor markers will only be shown to people that are not logged in so they're not a free member they're not a paid member they're not logged into the site at all that's an ideal place to put in advertising uh, it might be that as a bonus you want to say to people you know if you register for free you don't have to look at banner ads so if you want to do that on every post you could put a banner ad between the visitor tags the next bit of text isn't between any tags so that can be seen by anyone regardless of whether they're logged in or not uh, this is where you would put your sort of the teaser part of your post the idea of this is that when you write a post you give people the first two or three paragraphs for example uh, then they have to log in to see any more and it may make may tell them that in order to read this article they need to upgrade to a paid membership then just to demonstrate I've put a piece of text between a free set of free member short codes so that will be shown by anyone logged in it if they're free or a paid member they will see that piece of text there are other short codes that are documented in the manual that will allow you to put in text that's only seen by free members and it isn't seen by paid people isn't seen by visitors uh, you can look at that yourself and then I've put in here a piece for if for paid members only and put that between a set of paid member short codes so if we publish this post now I've got a couple of users already set up on here to demonstrate this with user one and user two um, at the moment user two is just a normal subscriber so I'm going to go in here and manually change him to a paid member and if you want to give memberships away on your website uh, that's how you'll do it you'll let people create a user and you'll go in and manually update them anyone that buys a membership the script handles it all for you and they'll automatically be upgraded to paid member you don't have to go in and do that so let's log out and go and view the site without being logged in at all and we see the text that can only be seen by visitors there's that piece there there's the text underneath it that can be seen by anyone and now because we're not logged in we get this message you must log in to see the rest of this content not a member yet register for free and it automatically puts links into your to the wordpress login and registration pages and then because we put a piece of paid content in we get a message telling us you need to be a gold member to view this content click here to upgrade and if they click on that they will be redirected to your sales page now let's uh, 
go ahead and log in and see what we can see when we're logged in as a free member of the site. So that was user one, my demo. And now you'll notice that we can't see the visitor text that was in bold before. We see the piece for everyone, and then we see the paragraph for free members. And then we get the message that we need to be a gold member and we need to upgrade to read the rest of it. And just to show you this working, we'll go in as user two. And there we go. Now we can see everyone's text, we can see the free member text, and we can see the paid member text. Now there's a little handy hint here. You can nest short codes together. Now by that, I will demonstrate. At the moment, when nobody is logged in, they get two messages showing there, which I don't personally like. I want them to just see that one message about logging in, and then when they're logged in, tell them that they can upgrade. Uh, I think it's really important to try and get people to do the registration process first, get them on as a free member, uh, and it makes the whole upgrade process a lot smoother. <coughs> let's go back in as admin. And let's go and edit that post. Okay, now if we move that paid member section there, I'm going to cut that out. And I'm going to put it inside the free member tag. So after that free members paragraph that we want everyone to see, that's logged in, I put the paid member thing in. So that is, the way this goes is the free member tag, followed by the paragraph, followed by a paid member tag, followed by the paragraph for paid members, and then we close in that order. So we then close the paid one, Close the free one. So now, when we go in as a as um, as a guest, so we're not logged in at all. We only get that one message. But when we log in as a free member, we now get to see the other message telling us that we can pay to upgrade. So it's just a, a useful thing that you can do is to nest those together. Now, before we move on to the next part, which is installed in the ClickBank end of this, uh, I'm just going to go into the sales pitch page and show you another tag, another short code that's really useful. Okay. So this would obviously be all of your sales copy, join now, etc. Then you want to give them a link to upgrade. Click here to upgrade. And we're going to click there to make a link. Now, instead of putting a standard URL in, and you could just put the link to your ClickBank, your normal ClickBank sales link, but the um, plugin will build that all for you. If you just put in clickbank sales link in square brackets with an underscore and it. it's all our case and again this is in the pdf manual that accompanies uh, the plugin and we'll say upgrade now insert Let's save that okay now we'll view it click here to upgrade and you'll see that that takes us straight to that clickbank sales page can't go any further yet because we haven't done the clickbank part of the setup which i'm about to show you in the next video